Dzień dobry kochani. Dzisiaj witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. Przepięknego miejsca na mały, jakim je, jakie jest a, plantation. A, it's a really beautiful place. A, it's many, 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 many acres. I believe it's 60 acres, if I'm not mistaken. To see, um, actually, the farming and the nature in general. It's just absolutely beautiful. I wanted to show you something different than uh, the Pacific Ocean that you've seen the last time when I was talking about my blog, Jeśli Przykawie. This time I'm showing you the absolutely gorgeous mountains of Hawaii. Very peaceful, very gorgeous day. I would say it's right now 83 degrees and it's probably 1, 1.30 p.m. I don't even know. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Um, it's just nice under these beautiful palm trees and so many of them um, and so many kinds of the palm trees. But what we're talking about today is the thoughts that are in my book and I would like to go uh, on something today um, like we all know the saying um, just go after your dreams just follow your dreams um, I'm saying everything starts with one simple thought and just like a seed in the soil starts to grow same thing goes for us humans, okay? We hear something and either we pay attention or not, or we, if we do, suddenly, like Eureka, bingo, that resonates with us. And that single thought now may die down, may, be, may get postponed, or simply may grow grow bigger and bigger every day to the point that you have to act upon you know you just go for it I remember was uh, the idea of uh, Italy going there seeing it I always wanted but was that a big thing no but I remember watched a movie with um, Robert Downey Jr in um, in the movie only you once i saw them in rome then uh, driving the amalfi coast to positano sorrento all that stuff oh my god i fell in love that's it my thoughts would go around that gorgeous place and i couldn't get rid of it until i actually went there at that time with my, um, today, at, uh, with my ex-husband for uh, two weeks and was absolutely, I have to say, the Amalfi Coast is hard to beat and Positano, it's, it's my place. Uh, I absolutely love there. So um, that's how it starts. Now, I'm saying this because with this new energy after 12, 12, 12 that I'm talking a lot and I will be, I will keep talking because it's important, especially in 2014 when the speed goes up, okay? And the energy after the shift in 2013, it's gonna be on, okay? It's very important what we are thinking about. Let's forget the negative. Let's forget the bad thoughts. Let's be aware that since everything starts with the simple thought, let's make sure that is positive, that is good, that will get us what we really, really want and need, and that's what we want to attract. The garbage, throw it out. And the same goes or everything else. 
if you not align with your job or career, change it. Somebody would say, sure, I'm sending resume every day. It's not coming. No, no, no. It didn't come. It doesn't mean that it will not come. Don't ever try doing it. Because if you stop, sure, for sure nothing's going to happen. If you're not in the right place, or you don't like that mountain anymore, or you're sick of that lake, or you're sick of those neighbors, change it. Don't be a victim. Do something about it. Go somewhere and find the right place for you. And with that goes a little boredom, okay? You live there for 10 years and you start to be bored of going exactly the same way around the same corners, you know, all the stores, you know, all the people. Oh, you know what? How about this for the beginning? Change the route of wherever you're going to something different, doing something differently. So if you were going from your work, first you stop at the supermarket and then you're going home. Instead of going this way, yeah, maybe it's gonna take you a little further, but now go this way or the other way, the other way. You see what I'm saying? Do something different because once you go always the same way and doing exactly the same way, guess what? Nothing will happen differently, okay? As Albert Einstein said, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, hopefully you're not expecting different results. That's insane. I agree. Do something different. Now, it may be that some people in our life also not welcome anymore. We outgrown them. Maybe we are more spiritual. Uh, maybe we just simply uh, need something different, you know, more or less of something. Whatever it is, let go. Let go. That's okay. Even when it comes for the family members. This new energy will really put us in a, um, in a different outlook on everything and whatever doesn't suit us anymore it's time to let it go and instead of doing the same thing over and over and over again let's do something differently let's go somewhere do something see people do things see something interesting learn something new Oh, you've always been thinking about uh, taking photography seminar or lessons or something. Why don't you start? Oh, I hear from people, they would love to paint the pictures. They even have all the right stuff for painting, but they cannot find the time. A poor excuse, okay? Enough already of that whining and complaining. Why don't you do it? Now, don't wait for later, later, and later. Later may never come. Don't, don't postpone your happiness, okay? Postpone illnesses. But cherish every moment, live to the fullest. Now, very soon the New Year's time will come and the year 2014. Uh, Okay, it's time to make two lists, very soon, okay? The first list is the trash list. That's the list that on December 31st, you will burn it. I mean in a fire. Just safely, please, burn it. And blow away. That's the things 
that you don't want anymore in your life. Whatever that is, it can be, I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to complain anymore about anything. I don't want a boring job anymore. I don't want to argue with my partner anymore. I don't want to eat sugar anymore. Whatever that is that you don't want, that you had it, write on a list and that's what you're gonna burn on December 31st with the old year going. Fine. Now, the new year is coming, 2014. On January 1st of 2014, you're gonna write a list. That's all Feng Shui, by the way. With the things that you do wish, that you do want, that you do desire for you to come and be. So you're gonna write on January 1st, not before. And after burning the other list on December 31st, remember? You're gonna write, I want, or even better, I am. Because at that point, you already stating you have it. So the universe, God, whatever you wish to, uh, uh, however you wish to address, is already looking as you have it. So it's got to provide you with it. You aligned with what you wish for. So you say, I am a, an actress. I am on a stage. I am writing my book on people. I am writing my life story. I am painting pictures with the nature that I always dreamed about. I, I have a new career that I'm so happy with. I, am my, I, I have my dream man in my life, or woman for that matter. My kids are in a college. My kids graduating this year. You see, everything that you want, go for it. By the end of 2014, you're going to check, like I'm checking always, how many things actually happen. Once you r write down those resolutions, those, those things that you really want to attract, don't hide somewhere that you never will see it. But put somewhere that you always have in the front of you. Okay? Type it on a computer, print it out. Make it even nicer, decorate it somehow. So it's almost like a beautiful picture put on your desk, by your desk, hang somewhere. Somewhere that you always can see it very easily. And be reminded, uh-oh, there's no more laziness. I said, I'm gonna paint the picture and I gotta take all those paintings, stuff, out, and I gotta start doing it. The last thing that I wanna tell you is always the worst is the first step. You notice when the baby is born, I never seen it, you know, any time in my life and I never heard of that the baby just start walking and start running and was gone. Right? The baby starts from that small step that we're keeping the baby and then boy, you never ever forget and we cherish forever the time that actually the baby made his first steps and went on his own. Even if that ended in collapsing first time, that's okay. But it took courage and it's just a natural way of things to happen. So that's okay. Whatever you start doing it, you're not gonna be Picasso overnight unless you are genius and anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay? But usually, we try and we don't like it, let's don't discourage, try again, because if that passion is already in us, it's going to happen, and it's going to make us happy, and that's the way it should be, okay? Let's just try it, let's make a first step, because believe me, once you make that first step, the second step is easier, and the third easier, and the fourth easier, and the fifth becomes a routine, a habit, and that's how it happens, okay? So, 
All the wonderful wishes again. Please be brave to make that first step. Be careful what you're wishing for because it will come. And I want you to have a positive uh, experience with that thought. The bad wishes, garbage. The bad thoughts, garbage. The people that doesn't serve us, delete. Just like on a computer. And let's bring all the good vibes, all the good energy, all the good people, all the good jobs, all the experiences that we want, need, and desire. Love you all. As usual, kisses from gorgeous Hawaii and with all this sun that I'm sending your way, especially wherever it's cold. Um, all my dear Polish people, all the beautiful Polish people around the globe, and all the people that is beautiful and they you all are. I love you all. See you next time.